right, we're gonna play a little bit of Air Wars 3 just to get some nice gameplay footage and also to enjoy the environment. As you can see, when you open up the game, you can choose from a number of rooms and you can see how many players are in each room and maximum number of players is eight. So one room is already full and I would go for this one because there's the most amount of players except if you wanted to search for one of your friends, you can go over here and find their name over here. Some people have not named themselves yet and at that point they're still called noob, the random number. And by the way, over here is the chat and you can access the chat by pressing enter or clicking on it with your mouse. And then once you have pressed enter, then you can start chatting. And if you notice that someone is giving you trouble, then just click on their name and you can click block. Gorgeous full moon overhead with some dark clouds all nighttime with the cityscape all coming in. Hola. Look at that moon. You know, I am so entranced by the nighttime scenery and I love the nighttime city. Some of the city looks familiar. I don't know why, it just feels like so Martian Games-esque. <laughs> These buildings are so fun. Yeah, press W and then... Build so... <laughs> Sometimes people will crash into the water and then... Oh, look, we can go underneath the bridge. There's so many morbid things in games. <laughs> in general, but I, I would have to say the Air Wars 3 is one of the more relaxing games that I've ever played. Definitely Air Wars 3 is my favorite out of all the Air Wars because it's the newest one and it's got the most cool features and it's really relaxing. It's got the airplane sounds, like the nice sound effects, and I always find myself chilling out and relaxing whenever I hear the nice SFX in this game. If you forget where you're supposed to go, you can just follow that 3D arrow that's pointing behind us, telling us that we're going the wrong way. But yeah, we can go over here and enjoy the gorgeous horizon until you're automatically turned around because you're clearly going the wrong way, duh. <laughs> and then you can press print screen on your laptop if it's, if your computer is like mine, then you can press print screen at any point while you're playing and then paste that image into your photo editing software of choice like Photoshop or Affinity Designer or some other program where you can just paste a screenshot. Different computers have different ways of taking screenshots, but normally if I have a game that's full screen, then I will take a screenshot by pressing print screen on my keypad, my numpad on my laptop, which is a Lenovo Legion gaming laptop, by the way. It's a bit of an older gaming laptop, but I think that it still does the trick. I'm able to do a little bit of streaming on Twitch and YouTube, and also quite a bit of video editing and 3D modeling, and using Unity, learning how to do game development on the Lenovo Legion gaming laptop. One super fun thing that we are also able to do is play Air Wars 3, the PC version. And that's exactly what we're doing right now. And I love this game because not only is it kind of realistic, but also the planes get upgraded once in a while in the game with more options and more realistic options too. And the closer you get to the buildings, then the more clear they'll become. And we're kind of just stress testing my laptop right now because I know a lot of people are like, what laptop should I get? I want to be able to edit videos for YouTube or something. And I want to be able to play games on Steam or whatever, and so I would recommend at least a laptop, a gaming laptop that's as good as the one that I'm using, because I can tell you right now that I stress test my Lenovo Legion all the time. And all the time I think to myself, huh, I wish it was just about two times as powerful as it is. Look at this beautiful sunrise, oh my goodness, so pretty. We're going the wrong way entirely, but we're here for the view, too. I love the view. Ah, ah! I have to go this way. <laughs> I do love the city, too. It's really cool. Oh, let's go down here. They're all, like, shooting at me. 
Ah! <laughs> right, I just kind of like that? bumped into that little bridge right there. Look at how pretty this is. A little river running through the mountains right here. It's so pretty. But yeah, press W to see the exhaust behind your plane look really pretty with the sparkles. And you can also press shift to turbo even faster. And if you forget which direction you're supposed to go, just follow the 3D arrow that's just beneath the timer at the top. And follow the direction, like, the arrow is pointing in the direction that you're supposed to go. Obviously somebody is shooting at me right now, so we could turn around and try to kill them. <laughs> There's only three people on our team, the red team. Someone got the flag already, so now they're pointing this other direction. Oh, oh fireworks are happening because it's the 4th of July. Here in the US, people put off fireworks all kinds with no regard to like people, um, single moms or anything like that who have to go to bed early or anything. They do not care. People, they don't care what the local laws are. If you're not supposed to do fireworks, they will do them anyway around here. It's like. The U.S. is delight to do fireworks, even when they're against the law. <laughs> I like to stand up for people that are trying to express themselves creatively or otherwise in any way that doesn't hurt anyone else. Oh, God! I am so happy I just picked up that flag. I, I was for sure that I was going to miss picking up that flag right there. I can't believe how pretty the flag is when we have it in our hands. It's like a dream come true. Print screen. I am taking a screenshot right now. But also... Now that we're taking a little bit of a video here, we are able to edit this later and I'll be sure to get some little highlights. Hopefully we don't die on our way to deliver the flag. Personally, when I play this game, my favorite thing to do is to capture the flag, deliver it, enjoy the flagpole, seeing the flagpole in action. If you forget what your level is, which I just did, just go back to the lobby by pressing tilde. And the tilde key is that cute little curly Q T. It looks like this. The tilde key is how you open up your menu while you're in game. So at the end of your game, just go back to the lobby and that's when you can get back here and see what is your level. My level's three. You can so find out which players are in the games by going find. And then you can see what room each of these players are in and avoid the players that you don't here, like. If that you have way. a problem with someone, Hover over their name and click on it and it'll say block and be sure to block someone if they're being inappropriate or harassing you in any way. Just go ahead and block them. Don't be afraid to block them and spare yourself harassment. And that blocking tool is there for a reason. Don't be afraid to use the block button. The leaderboard is right here and you can see the awesome flags. What country are the top players in? Some people don't like to share their location and that's totally understandable. And you can edit your nickname. And technically and there's ways to ensure that people do not use any type of cheating. Classic.
Whoa! <laughs> so cool. Kapla. 